And these are grown-ups. Uh, Ryan is 25 years old. Longer shelf life for the men's skaters, Nance? Um, Yes, I think there is. I mean, with the, they don't have as much of change in their bodies yeah. as women do. <laughs> nice. You, you were the Lux. exception. At Lillehammer, you were, what, in your 20s? 24. Mm -hmm. There's been a few that have hung in there and you know, stayed at that top level till they were older, but not a whole lot anymore. Triple axle. That first triple, did you notice? He had his arm up over his head. That's a trademark of uh, Brian Boitano. Oh. He actually learned it from my coach, Evie Scoffel. Among his heroes, Paul Wiley and Brian Boitano. They have to do at least three combinations or sequence of jumps. Uh, yes, he is uh, married. He is married. He married uh, Tashiana Foreman of Colorado Springs back in 2002 and says that she and being a husband is now the focus of his life. He is the on the B national team. So Only it's the a woman would notice that. Here. You pointed to your ring, you pointed to his wedding well, ring. I'm, <laughs> I think he was, He may be the only one here that's married. I'm, that's, did you pick right up on that? Well, I think it changes your life. And, you know, you have other responsibilities and not necessarily always focused on just your skating. Another triple axle. Brian uh, sat just, what, seventh after the short program or eighth? Yeah. Eighth. They don't combine the short and long here at this competition, though. You can choose to only do one. Compete in one or the other, or both. Right, and then get critiqued and uh, learn from the judges what they think you need to be working on for the future season. He has a nice flow about his skating. One thing leads right nicely into another. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice, spread eagle straight down the ice into triple ups. Beautifully. Into double toe and a double loop with no speed there. And yet, he, yeah, but he still pulled it off and no problem. That's strength. just strength. Yeah. Ryan's a lifelong jockey. Got inspired to skate at age seven when all his friends played hockey. He wasn't very good with the stick, but he was a good skater. Listen to this. He once broke his two front teeth in a skating collision. Yeah, I have a friend that did that as well. Very scary. Yikes. He's obviously determined to get back on after something like that. But he's, you know, been around for a very long time, and it shows in his performance. Yeah. He's, he's very, very polished. He's confident, yeah. It's not just about the jumps and the spins, and the, the whole program it has sort of theme and... Skating goes along with it. When he pulled up into that, he pulled himself off balance right away, right from the start, and that's why he was crooked. That was the spin he has to do, one spin in, in one position only. It's a, a maximum of four spins. The spins have to be a minimum of six revolutions, ten for the combination spins. It's nice and deep in his knees. And into his final spin. This combination. Right on the money, Brian Yonke.